For cheap Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out ufifa.com and use my discount code EGHD at the checkout to get 5% off your order. Hey what's up guys, Jack here, welcome back to Let's Play FIFA 15 episode 20 and as you can see, we start off this series by going out and buying myself a new striker who is actually a right wing or right mid, whatever you want to say, he's basically a winger and you guys recommended me to this guy, he was spamming it in the comments of the previous video because I was asking for a player that I could play up front, it doesn't have to be a striker, it could be a winger and you guys all just said Quadrado and um, someone I thought you know what he wouldn't be a good striker do you know why because he's a little bit too weak or um, he's a little bit too small and I think you know as a striker he should have a bit more strength a bit more height but was I wrong this guy is incredible probably the best striker the best partnership up front I've had in uh, FIFA 15 so far Abarbo and Quadrado not only do they have pace uh, obviously Abarbo has the strength as well and uh, also Quadrado has the five star skills so it's a great combination of a bit of both and even Abarbo has four star skills now this year so Deadly combination, but previous video I said, um, could we get 1,000 likes? And you guys smashed the like button, you gave me 2,000 likes, over 2,000 likes. So, really want to say thank you for that. And uh, can we do the same today? Can we get 1,500 likes? That is the target for today. If we get that, I'll be extremely happy. And uh, we'll see the uh, well, we are seeing the uh, series progress. So, we are currently in Division 4, as you saw um, at the start of the series, at uh, the start of the uh, video. You would have seen we're in Division 4, and uh, we are trying to get promoted into Division 3. And the whole aim of this series right now is to uh, win, or get, sorry, get into Division 1. I don't need to win Division 1. All I need to do is pr get promoted into Division 1. That is it. Series complete. So I've pre-recorded all of the episodes so far, guys, and... Um, We've basically completed it, and there's 23 episodes in total. This is the 20th, as you're watching this. So we've got another three episodes after this, and uh, there will be a giveaway, which is going to be cool. Uh, it's going to be done like um, how I did it back on FIFA 11, almost three, well over three years ago now. So um, it will be coming up in the series finale on episode 23. So there will be a giveaway. Um, but yeah, Quadrado at striker, like this guy is just insane. Um, and this episode, sorry, this episode we go absolutely ham, like. Every game that I seem to play, I seem to be absolutely destroying my opponents. And it's something that I hadn't been doing recently. So I think adding Quadrado into the team has been a big impact. But also, I've been using or changing up the way that I play a little bit. I've been playing really high pressure. And the 4 3 one too, is a great formation to do that. Like, uh, in the midfield, all I'm doing is holding A, pressing RB. You know, I think it's RB. Is it RB or LB? To basically rush your... Um, player towards the ball and uh, as a jockey like like a second man kind of thing and it really works well obviously you don't want to overdo it because you might actually accidentally send out your centre back and you'll get um, a ball in behind basically so yeah it's really working well and uh, a lot of the LTRT uh, if, you, if you don't know what I mean basically um, with pacey players such as Quadrado, Ibarbo if you feel like someone's reading your movement if, you're, if they're just about to block you uh, where you're going to sprint LTRT it puts your head down and it and when you let go of LTRT, the direction that you have your analog stick, it just sprints off in that direction. It gives you like a real big boost towards the goal. So, well, not towards the goal, towards wherever you're facing. So, if you want to do it, it's changed the game that I play completely. And uh, also, when you do LTRT, you can really slow the ball down. It's, uh, it's a much more effective way of holding the ball if you're in a tight situation. So, I really recommend trying that. Obviously, if you're on the PlayStation, you'll have to find out the equivalent. I'm not familiar with the uh, PlayStation controls, uh, which buttons it would be. So, if you can leave it in the comments, that would uh, help out someone else. But um, going to the next game, as you can see now, this is my absolute worst team to come against. Uh, as you guys know, Dumbia, Musa, they're the worst. But he's got MNEK as well. As uh, Who was that in the right? Oh, it was uh, Uche. It was like the, the most overpowered uh, FIFA 15 player or, te or teams ever. So I thought, you know what, five minutes in, if a sweat comes up, I will take that straight away. Because I know this guy is simply a sweaty player. You wouldn't have those players in your team if you weren't a sweaty player. But here, Barbo turns the player. Goes to finish it, and obviously he's got 60 finishing. He's not a left; he's a right foot player. Didn't expect him to score it, but um, didn't even expect him to get it on target. So, yeah, we're still one 0 up. 79th minute, we we kept going, and Barber gets through here and makes it 2 0 in the 80th minute. Very happy there because uh, we obviously um, we're doing so well in this episode, and uh, it's been a, been a while since I've been on a winning streak really of more than about three. So that's good. And obviously another one here, 82nd minute. I was taking no prisoners in this episode. <laughs> Nice little sweat across there. I say nice, you know, whatever whatever you deem as nice. But as you can see, I think we had 15 points there in a Division 3. So we only need a couple more wins and we will be, we will be promoted and given the title, I believe, to uh, obviously get more coins and speed, us, speed up the process. And um, I think I said at the start of this episode, I will be playing a season every single episode. So um, it's going to be a lot quicker than the previous episodes where I've been doing two or three games. Now we're doing like five to eight games per episode, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, 
I do make a, a little bit of a mistake uh, you will see in the next episode as well uh, but it's starting up in this episode and the reason why is because I bought Kudrado I had Sal on the bench but I didn't remove him off my bench so when I go to play with my Bundesliga team I, I forgot to add Quadrado to the bench which means when I play with my Serie A team his fitness is going down but it's not recovering again because I haven't got him on the bench of my other team so I only realise when he gets to like 50 or 60 fitness um, in like a you know about five games time that hold on a second his fitness isn't recovering so um, yeah you'll see that but I didn't even notice that's how good Quadrado is he's actually so good and so pacey I hardly even noticed him on you know really low fitness but as you can see this game we are winning 83 minutes in 2-1 up and this guy obviously went attacking and uh, he brought his centre back forwards way too early nice little ball roll before I put it away now that's a really effective way if you if you can see the goalkeepers come out and uh, you've managed to hold your ground theoretically or whatever you want to say and um, you can see he's retreating back into his goal just do a little ball roll before you finesse it it gives you much more of a better angle to uh, shoot in it, it raises like the opportunity of scoring from like I don't know I'm not gonna there's no exact numbers but I'd say like 50% to like 70% just it just gives you a bit a bigger target to put the goal into put the ball into sorry but I've got another question for you guys. Um, obviously, with the new releases of games like Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, also GTA 5 on Next Gen, and also Halo Remastered, which were some incredible games, um, they will be released again very soon. I'm thinking of doing some uploads to my second channel, so if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments section, because I know I've got a lot of new subscribers, and even my previous subscribers that I've, I've spoke to about other games before. I want to know your opinion. Is it something that you want to see? Which games would you want to see more? And would you? is there any games that you don't like? And I don't know. But anyway, I'll leave a uh, link to my second channel in the description, right at the top of the description. If you want to subscribe early, that would be fantastic. I'll leave it there. But as you can see, we're coming to the end of this episode. Ababa tries to do that four new four-star skill move. Didn't quite work, but he crossed it back into Mertens, and he finished up. And now we get season promotion into Division 3, and we are ready to rock and roll for the next episode. So thank you for watching this video. Leave the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Also, 1,500 likes would be epic. 